It seems to us the most commonly asked question that we get, especially coming from folks like you living here in the South, where we have alligators. That question is, why do these animals attack us? Well, I don't think there's been any recent attacks here in South Carolina, but in Florida, where we live, in the last 20 years, we've had about a dozen alligator attacks. Unfortunately, some of the attacks were fatal. There's usually one of three reasons that might cause an alligator to attack a person. If you're not really sure of the reasons, I'll quickly explain them to you. Then we'll send David to the water with the alligator. The first reason is when there's a female alligator. Now, as a mother, she's a very protective parent. She'll guard her nest and protect her babies against anything that gets too close. The second reason has to do with the larger male alligators. When these animals reach lengths of eight feet or longer, they tend to become very territorial. We call the big ones territorial bull gators. Now, what that means is a bull gator, it'll choose an area of swamp or section of a river as his territory. They'll mainly defend the territory against the other alligators that challenge them for the right to stay there. But when they get real big, they'll attack anything getting too close to them. That includes us. The third reason is the most dangerous reason. In some parts of South Carolina, mostly the coastal parts, but in Florida especially, alligators, they're everywhere. At last count, experts estimate we have well over, uh, close to 2 million of them living in the wild in the state of Florida alone. They occupy all of our lakes, rivers, ponds, and canals. All the fresh bodies of water south of here are likely home to alligators. But the fact that we have so many of them here really is not what makes them dangerous. The danger is when people start feeding the wild alligators that they see. When you feed a wild alligator, you teach it to stick around. It loses its natural fear that it has of humans, therefore making it a much more dangerous animal towards us. That's why it's illegal to feed the wild alligators. If you're caught feeding one, it could be subject to a heavy fine. The laws they have help protect our wild alligators, but more importantly, the laws help protect all of us. So that's it. Three basic reasons why an alligator might attack a person. Other than that, these animals are actually really shy by nature. They'll usually leave people alone if we would just simply choose to leave them alone.